Good evening. Uh, welcome to Music Monday. Uh, I think it's that time, indeed. Um, welcome. So, uh, some of you might have seen Father Max earlier today sent out a Facebook uh, notice that this evening's uh, that this evening's Music Monday would be about making music sausage, more or less. Uh, it, the process, if you will, of determining what will be played and or sung on any given Sunday. And so, a couple of years ago, I think I kind of did a, um, it was a summer session kind of thing from the Bible study group uh, about this same process. Uh, so for those who were attending that, some of this will be old uh, information, but what I want you to do is I want you to participate this evening, those that are uh, joining in, and together you and I uh, will determine the hymns that are going to be sung this coming Sunday. So, a little quick background. Um, there are lots of resources uh, that are available uh, it, to know what hymns or what would be appropriate for a given season, all those kind of things uh, that help determine what will be sung, particularly as it comes to hymns um, on a given Sunday. And kind of the, the first source that I typically go to is, it's called the Episcopal Musician's Handbook. It's like this. And it um, this is particularly for this year, it's year B. Uh, it has every single Sunday in it, uh, high, um, uh, special occasions, uh, feast days, those kind of things. And it lists the hymns that are appropriate um, for that particular Sunday and the readings, the topics of the lessons of scriptures for hymnal 1982 for Wonder, Love, and Praise, and for Lift Every Voice and Sing. So each one of these pages has basically the references from those three resources. However, given that we are not gathering and most people don't have uh, Wonder, Love, and Praise hymnals and those kind of things at home, whereas there's an opportunity for many of you to have hymnal 1982, I've pretty much just been selecting hymns out of hymnal 1982, which reminds me, if you have one handy, grab it, because uh, it would be helpful as we proceed. Um, but if you don't, that's okay too, because we're gonna go through it. So anyway, let me just show you uh, this, and I'm gonna get it up here so you can see it, and read it actually. So this is what uh, each of the Sunday's um, lists. Uh, this specifically is for hymnal 1982. And as you can see, it gives, um, this is for this particular coming Sunday, uh, it happens to be Lent 3. It gives the reading options um, for this coming Sunday. Uh, the Psalm, uh, Old Testament, Epistle, and the Gospel. So I asked Father Max earlier uh, this week if he would select, um, or end of last week actually, if he would select the reading for this coming Sunday. So on Sunday we're going to be reading the Exodus um, verses. Uh, and so that, that, the reason I asked him that is because it helps to select the hymns. And then if you look, you can see there's like little Diamonds by some of the numbers that tells me that these hymns have specific references to scripture reading and You can also see if there's a PS that means it's specifically related to the psalm of a given Sunday if a hymn listing has neither one of those uh, indications, then it simply means that the hymns will be um, uh, topically uh, of, um, they're going to be related to, you know, the topics of the readings. So here's what we're going to do, folks. We're going to go through this list very quickly. I'm not going to, because there's other things I want to talk about too. 
we're going to go through this list and uh, um, uh, you and I are going to pick which hymns we're going to sing on Sunday. So, uh, and I'll read that. You don't need to keep referring to this list that I'm showing you right now because I'm going to read them out each one. But if you have a hymnal handy, uh, 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 follow along. And you can tell these are going to be in numeric order as they appear within um, the hymnal, okay? So, so let's go through the first one. It's number 165, Sing My Tongue, The Glorious Battle. If you turn to that, and if you have a hymnal, this is basically a chant. Uh, the only thing that's indicated is the tune. And it goes like this. And there are six verses, uh, which also, oops, I, which also you can tell the number of verses are indicated for each of the hymns, which is very helpful. Because sometimes, quite honestly, I will not soak the hymn simply because it's got too many verses and I don't want the service to go too long. Um, very practical. So anyway, this number 165, it's, this, it's, a, it's an ancient uh, Pange Lingua, it's a plain stone chant, chant mode one. goes on like this. It's one of those kind of things, great for a soloist to sing, not good for congregational singing. So we're moving on. The next one is 166. 166, which is also uh, the same text, Sing My Tongue, The Glorious Battle. However, this one's been actually arranged so that it could be sung by a congregation. And it goes like this. line being picked out at the top. Uh, not bad for congregational singing, but it really helps to have a choir to help lead, which we don't have right now. Uh, so I don't think so, so much. Uh, but again, give me your, um, if you have, uh, uh, if you like one of these, tell me and I'll read it in the, in the comments. Um, so uh, seriously, tell me, cause I need to know what you think and I'll follow along with what people are commenting. So now the next one is number one, uh, 140. And that's interesting why they put that out of order. Hmm. Uh, let's go back to 140. Uh, it is with, has to do with um, uh, with one of the um, uh, readings. And again, this is one that the same words to two different hymn tunes, okay? So the first hymn tune is uh, contemporary. Um, more so, uh, not so much. It's contemporary uh, edition. Um, so this is number 140. Wilt thou forgive that sin where I begun? And it goes like this. singing in my opinion. So let's go to the next one which is 141. Again it's the same 141. It's the same text but with a different tune. And this one is, and I'm quite honestly, this Sunday a lot of these hymns I was not familiar with. So I'm learning about this with you right now. It's like we're gonna choose.
again, I like it as far as uh, music is concerned. Uh, but again, not so much for uh, singing uh, at a Sunday service. The tune, it, it uh, uh, you need to know, you need to know it because it, it goes in some strange places. Makes sense, but not so much. Uh, so now we're down to 144. 144, there we go. Um, this one is Lord Jesus. Uh, this tune is Cornhill. By the way, most of the hymn tunes are either going to be because of the person's last name, or majority of them are quite honestly uh, locations. Uh, and I'm guessing that Cornhill is probably a town, village somewhere in the UK. Um, but anyway, this one goes... playing it in the wrong key. referring to that sort of that one but I agree okay so let's move on let's go to number 148 number 148 and let's see uh, sung pretty easily as a hymn uh, because it's uh, in our western music ears it makes sense it's in a three straight three four beat pattern uh, three beats to the measure let's play this one again familiar with this one myself I have been really su uh, not surprised but it's always one of those cases where sometimes I'll think oh everybody knows this hymn and I would have selected something and at the choir rehearsal we'll practice of course the hymn for, up hymns for the Sunday coming up and I'll be going along and everybody's looking at me like huh you know and it's one of those I was familiar with it but they were not and then other times when I wasn't familiar with the hymn, they go, oh yeah, sure, we've sung that for years. Everybody knows that hymn. Anyway, so 148, not too bad, uh, but let's take a look at the rest of them. Okay, 151 is the next one. 151, from deepest woe I cry to thee. Uh, well, let me get to the right page, thank you very much. stop now because I can always tell this one again would be great for a soloist it would be great for a choir that would rehearse it it's all in unison so it's not so much that part of it but there's a lot of off beats uh, you're entering on the upbeat and um, some of the other the skips the jumps some of the music uh, is pretty high uh, pretty wide so not so much for that one either so let's go to 152 152 Kind maker of the world, kind maker of the world, oh here, 
A la Venue de Noël is the hymn tune, which would imply that it's French, uh, and it would also imply that it would have originally been a Christmas song in France. Um, so let's see what this one is. This one uh, doesn't really have any, isn't related to any of the text for the scripture readings, but it is obviously um, related to the subject matter. That is Ali and Max here from the fire, kind of good. Um, uh, so yeah, that one, this one we've sung before, and uh, we'll have. Maisie and Ian helping us sing this Sunday, which will help kind of support all of us. So let's put a little star by that one, 152. Uh, okay, so the next one, now we're gonna skip way ahead, basically. Now we're going into, so most of those hymns that we just went through were in the Lent section of the hymnal. Um, now we're gonna skip to where more it's, topics, uh, related topics versus season. Um, so because when we get into the 300s, you're, and actually the, the low 300s are always gonna be Eucharist songs. So the next one's 313. 313, let, uh, I think I'm on the right one, yeah. Let thy blood in mercy poured. It's a German tune, Jesus meine Zuversicht, Z-U-V-E-R-S-I-C-H-T, uh, however that would be pronounced. Uh, let's see how this one goes. This one, um, uh, Johann Kruger, good German, um, um, Lutheran, uh, wrote a lot of hymn tunes, which we still use today, actually. So let's see what this one's about. To me, certainly, uh, it's uh, going to be related to the gospel, and so let's put a star by that one too. Three, one, three. Okay, uh, good. Moving on. Um, three eighteen. Three eighteen. Uh, we're still going to be in the Eucharist, Holy Eucharist section of the hymnal. Uh, this one, Nyack. Ni so uh, let's see. There's a couple of octave jumps uh, in it, and um, so again, it makes it a little bit more challenging to sing uh, as a congregation kind of thing. Uh, so let's put a question mark by that one. 318. Okay, now 372. Uh, 372. I've got to get another section of the, my accompanist. Uh, so this is praise to the living God. Ah! We have to discount this one already uh, because we sang the basic same thing this past Sunday. Um, uh, t t to God the Abram, ba, ba da 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 da. We sang the same tune but different words. 
Awards this past Sunday, so that one's gone. Uh, we're not going to do that one. Uh, moving ahead, 409. Oh my gosh, we're almost out of time. 409. Um, this tells you, I go through this every, <laughs> every, every week. Uh, uh, 409, 409. Uh, and it's fun. I really enjoy, you know, doing this kind of stuff. But let's see what this one's about. This is from the creation, Franz Joseph Haydn, classic composer, taught uh, uh, um, Mozart, um, uh, and so this is from that. Uh, people will know this. It's a little bit long uh, as far as the actual hymn itself is concerned. It only has three verses. Um, could be a good song for ending the service, huh? Um, perhaps a closing kind of thing. That's a little bit more upbeat than what typically we would think about. Uh, uh, I didn't suggest you can play the entire, oh, okay, I'll do that. I'll play the entire hymn. Uh, sorry, Jeff. Um, so uh, let's uh, put an asterisk by that one. 372, 372. The spacious firmament on high with all the blue ethereal sky. Um, 409, 409, the spacious, uh, that's what we just did. Uh, hold on one second, I need to make a note here to myself. Okay, 431, 431, and I will play the whole hymn. I'm sorry, I'm... Four thirty one. This is the stars declare his glory, the vault of heaven springs. Musician, primarily Episcopal, um, big organist, all that kind of stuff. Um, let's try this one again. directly to the psalm. It's actually a paraphrase of the psalm, Psalm 19, uh, the text, uh, parts of it anyway. Um, uh, not that one either, it says. Okay, uh, and I, it's, 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 this is one, this would be a good one for the congregation to learn. Um, it would just take a, a little bit more, again, if we had a choir, it'd be different. And then you could repeat it a couple of Sundays later perhaps so it gets in people's ears. 
Um, 434, 434, 434, oh, I think you can see them. So 43, yes, yeah, St. Petersburg is the tune. Um, no, 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 Eltham, Eltham is the tune, 434, yes? So Eltham is the tune, nature with open volume. Let's see how this one goes. intervals there. I don't, I don't like, kind of like it, but um, let's keep going on and see what else we've got here. 471. 471 is the next one. Uh, so we are skipping through. Uh, 471. <clears throat> 471 is, we sing the praise of him who died. Breslau is the tune. Uh, German. It was harmonized by in the hymnal here, by Felix Mendelssohn, actually. Um, Hark the Herald Angels Sings, one of his two. to a lot of people, I'm sure. Let me play this again. This one, 471, could be... Uh, a winner, again, it could be an opening, nice little opening. It's got good stately uh, um, uh, rhythm behind it. Uh, next, uh, let's see. So now we're going to, uh, we sing, yes. Now we're going to 574, 574. Boy, this is taking longer than, I've got a whole other thing to talk about and all this kind of stuff. We're gonna run out of time. Uh, four seven five seventy four. Before Thy throne, <clears throat> before Thy throne, O God, we kneel. Five seventy four. Let's see what this is. Oh. a good one uh, thinking about singable yes exactly now 575 is um, same thing but they've changed the rhythm a little bit on it uh, so 575 goes like this that's a different tune 
they made a mistake on that one. Uh, five, five, seven, five. Yeah, right. It's a totally different tune. It's actually Vatu Unser in Himmelreich. They got that wrong in the thing. Anyway, um, it's it goes like this. Tune to five seven four better for our purposes on a Sunday morning in this instance, um, but it's a thought. Okay, and then uh, we're almost done with the list here, folks. 641, 641, moving along. 641. Um, this is Lord Jesus. Oh, we'll know this one. Uh, let me get the right key. Again, so let's go. Six, six, six is the next one. Six, six, six. We're almost through the list here, folks. Six, six, six is. Um, let's see. Out of the depths I call to God, I send my cry. Lord, hear my supplicating voice and graciously reply. Hmm. I call. <clears throat> that one's a good one. Um, ah, so not here. It's on this list actually <coughs> as well. 685. Good solid hymn from uh, Top Lady. Um, 685. to the scripture uh, that could be a winner I think uh, and we've got one more folks one more it's 703 703 lead us O father in the paths of peace so this actually 703 the composer of this tune is Orlando Gibbons Good tutor, um, um, composer, same era-ish as um, Thomas Tallis. Um.
Again, it's one of those kind of things that the meter is just uh, uh, makes it a little bit more difficult, challenging for. Um, uh, yes, so we're out of time. But, and I was, uh, you know, maybe even next week I'll do this. I'll go, th go through, because there's also this whole thing, as you can see, you know, there are a lot of places to do, to put music in. So this is the current lineup as it is for this coming Sunday, but there's still some blanks, obviously. So these are the kind of things that need to be completed. So what I'll do is, um, maybe we'll talk about that a little bit next week. Um, so, um, the creation one was a hit and Rock of Ages. I think those two will, will, will be good. And I'm gonna go through it, I'll read, I'll read the comments. Um, but we're out of time right now. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff that gets into this too. <laughs> This is just the beginning. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for joining me this evening. Thank you for helping um, make this selection. Uh, I'll go through and read all the comments. So make sure to capture your thoughts. Uh, right now, my gut is that we'll do the, the one, the spacious firmament on high and perhaps rock of ages. We'll see. Uh, again, thanks uh, for joining me. Have a blessed evening. Good night.